Hi everyone and welcome to our review of chapter 11. In chapter 11 we're going to be dealing with production costs and when we look at production costs we're going to be looking at how inventory is controlled and inventory controls are very important to evaluate. And when we look at an example in your book, you'll notice that inventory controls are part of Walmart. And when we look at Walmart, you notice that they're trying to invest in inventory as a type of investment. And if they don't have enough investment in inventory, that creates a lot of challenges. Walmart invests a lot of money in technology. And this investment in technology helps Walmart to be more efficient in turning its inputs into outputs. For this week, we're going to focus on some different costs. The first cost we're going to look at are variable costs. Variable costs are costs that change as output changes. So examples of variable costs, if you own a fast food restaurant, would be the food, would be the electricity, would be the amount of workers that you have. Because the more that you produce, the higher your cost will be. Now when we look at fixed costs, fixed costs don't change with output. So when you focus on fixed costs, you'll notice that fixed costs are things that like rent. It doesn't matter how much we produce in the firm, costs will always be the same. That's an example of fixed costs. And then we look at total costs right here. Total cost equals fixed costs plus variable costs. So these costs are very important to evaluate within a firm. Now, let me get to the table here. Now, this is a table that's going to be evaluating our costs and breaking it down. And I want to go through each column with you. The first column is the number of workers that we have. Second column is how many ovens we have. Third column is looking at how many pizzas are produced. So you see the more workers we hire, the more pizzas we can produce. The next column is your fixed costs. You notice how the column that they always have the same fixed costs. The next column is the variable cost. Variable costs change with the amount that's being produced. The next column is total cost. Total cost equals fixed plus variable cost. This column is average total cost. Average total cost is looking at the average cost to produce, let's say here, 200 pizzas, $7.25. This is the average fixed cost where it is always decreasing average variable cost and marginal cost. The marginal cost is the additional cost to produce an additional pizza. So these are the different costs that we're looking at in the calculation. So these are some of the observations that we brought about with chapter 10. If you have any questions please let me know but I look forward to your effort.